Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Chloe. I'm Chloe and I'm here to give you some eco-friendly tips that you can use at home to help the planet and live a better lifestyle. And today is one of my videos as part of my meat-free Lent and I will be making a vegetarian pizza. So let's get started. I'm following a recipe today that I've used a lot of times before, in fact quite regularly, and it creates an absolutely delicious pizza. What you're gonna need for this is some bread or strong flour, olive oil, yeast, dried yeast, salt, and some warm water, and then your chosen tomato puree or barbecue sauce or whatever it is that you want to have on top of it and toppings. So let's start making the dough. First things first, we need to measure out 225 grams of strong white flour. Now the recipe says to sift the flour into the bowl, I just shake it in, I can't be bothered with sieves. We need then seven grams of yeast. I've got a yeast can here, but you can buy the sachets as well, although they're not plastic free, and they often are seven grams of sachet. Add that to the bowl. And then we need just a half a teaspoon of salt. So basically just a little shake. We're going to stir the flour, yeast and salt together. Make sure it's all nice and mixed in. Once we've stirred that all together, we're going to make a well in the centre with even walls around it. And we're going to pour in 150 ml of lukewarm water to activate the yeast. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of olive oil, which is about one and a half regular spoons. That's how I always measure it. And it's worked for me so far. We're now going to mix that together, throwing in the walls into the center and then gradually mixing that all together. Once you've got a resemblance of dough, you can use your hands to pull the dough out, pick up any bits left in the ball, and just start moulding it with your hands into that dough ball shape and making sure everything's stuck together nicely. So now we have a dough ball that's ready to be kneaded for about five minutes. So kneading the dough is really easy. It's literally a matter of making sure it's got a good coating of flour on it and then just stretching it out with your wrist, with the bottom of your wrist, and then folding it back over on itself. Rolling it back into a ball and just doing that over and over again because you're trying to get lots of air inside it to make sure it's nice and light when it's cooked. So now my dough ball is nice and kneaded. I'm going to make sure there's a little, little bit of flour in the bottom of the bowl so it doesn't stick. Stick it back in the bowl. Some people cover it, I never bother. Put it on the side where it's warm. Leave it between 15 to 30 minutes because I never have time to do it any longer than that. And let it rise a little before we roll it out. Our dough has risen a little bit and it's time now to roll it out. You will get the sense that there is air in it now. Um, it will feel lighter in places. This is enough for two pizzas for me and my partner. So I'm going to cut this in half and work on my pizza for the video. Start rolling it out. 
thickness of a 50p. Take it up. Shouldn't have any holes in it. That should just be have a nice tiny bit of a stretch to it, um, but not so stretchy that it's going to break. We're then going to take one of our pans. I happen to have some pizza pans and put some paper on there and lay out our pizza. And you can then stretch it. Once it's flat, you can then stretch it on the pan to get it as wide as you want without ripping it. I like to try and get it to the shape of the pan. This one's a square one. So we've now got our pizza base and now we're going to have to cover it and do the toppings. I took the opportunity whilst the dough was rising to cut up my chosen vegetables and I'm going to put on this pizza red onion, mushrooms and green peppers. I'm also going to put on some herbs and that includes oregano and also some chilli flakes as well. I'm using tomato puree today, but you can use barbecue sauce as well as your base. Now that the tomato puree has been done, I'm going to add my chosen herbs and then I'm going to spread my vegetables on as well. You would obviously normally put cheese on at this point. I haven't had my vegan cheese delivery yet, so I'm going to do a cheeseless pizza today, which will still taste absolutely delicious. It's important to make sure that your toppings aren't too heavy. You want to keep it quite light um, because I've made the mistake in the early days before where if you make it too topping heavy, it's so heavy and so saturated in the juices that are coming off from the vegetables that it's really hard to get the base all the way cooked. So you, it takes ages and then you end up with something that's burnt on top and not quite right in the bottom. So you want to keep it quite light. And there we have it. That's gonna go into the oven now at 180 degrees and it'll be taken out in about 20 minutes or so when the top is all golden and when you lift up the bottom a little bit, you can see that the center has gone firm. So there we have it guys, a lovely crispy vegetarian pizza made completely from scratch, healthy and vegan, I believe as well. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll be trying out a pizza if you're doing a meat-free Lent or in general to see if you can try a new thing during lockdown. And I will see you again next week for another episode of the Meat Free Lent. Don't forget to hit subscribe. See you later.